There's a new poll showing a virtual dead heat in the Nevada Senate race. And the balance of power in Washington could hang in the balance. Republican Adam Laxalt with a two-point lead, 48 to 46, over incumbent Democrat Catherine Cortez Mastro. With just over a month until Election Day, Adam Laxalt joins us now. I understand that you are the only challenger, Republican or Democrat, that is actually ahead consistently of the incumbent. So what's making the difference there? Yeah, look, seven consecutive polls from September forward. We've been up in this race. And uh, I, look, I think the bottom line is that, uh, unfortunately, my home state is, is doing worse than the rest of the country. Uh, our inflation is at 16 percent, not 8 percent. Our gas prices are getting close to $6 a gallon. And Senator Masto had the chance to break from her party and not vote for the the inflation spending bill six weeks ago, knowing that we were already facing all-time highs inflation, but she voted for it. Uh, and you can look at the line and all the charts. Uh, of course, that bill did not reduce inflation. In fact, it, it took things in the other direction. And so people are really, really struggling here. Uh, we're also feeling the effects of our open border. Uh, our, our law enforcement is struggling with, with the effects of all the BLM rhetoric and the systemic racist rhetoric mm -hmm. that, you know, my opponent uh, has also touted. Um, but, you know, Las Vegas Metro, they're, they're doing the best. I know you guys have been reporting on that on that uh, scene that happened yesterday. Um, and they're able to overcome a lot of this dangerous Democrat rhetoric that has hurt recruiting uh, and really, really hurts the morale. Uh, and, you know, it's one of the big divisions in my race, Dana, that the Las Vegas Metro had endorsed her in 16, and they're endorsing me in this race because they know that this is a big issue, and they want somebody that's a former top cop, someone that understands uh, how hard mm -hmm. their job is, and, and they're doing a great job trying to keep our community safe. A couple of days ago, you tweeted that you were in Reno, Nevada. This is a call for number five. Uh, gas prices were not $5, not $6, but you saw $7 a gallon gas. So before I talk about crime, I just want to ask you, as you've met the voters that you see there. How is this affecting them in their daily lives and their businesses? Are, what, are the, what is the mood of the public there? Are they deeply, deeply worried, concerned, struggling? Yeah, so we're almost $6 on average, and I drove by the $7. I said, stop the car. Uh, you know, we, we need to make a record of this, and it is a shocking number in a state where you could get $2 gas uh, just two years ago in, in 2020. And so uh, people are getting crushed by this. Any national media that's coming and reporting on it, they, you, you can see the reports. It's unbelievable. People are really, really angry. And, and look, they know that we have no Republican Republicans in sight in our state, no Republicans in charge at the federal level. They understand that these energy policies of the Biden administration and Senator Catherine Cortez Masto is supporting, they're really crushing okay. our state. And we're a Western state. And so people don't know this. It's 500 miles between Reno and Vegas. Everyone has to drive, drive in our right, state. Right. And so gas is absolutely, it's changing people's lives. I mean, they're having to adjust. You know, there was a mom the other day that said that she had to stop buying juice for her children, mm -hmm. and they had to switch to water to go to school. And so these are the decisions that Nevada families are making right now, thanks to all this reckless spending and these terrible energy policies. Those are hard decisions for a mom. I just want to ask one final question. Can you get shed any light on what the Latino vote breakdown is looking like in this race of a month out. Yeah, it's important to know that Senator Masto won Latino vote by 42 points in 2016. She won that race by two points overall. Today, every single poll has us 15 points or less. We've seen tied. Um, the Latino vote is absolutely moved massively our direction. We've had a huge effort. We're on TV. Uh, we've had massive ground efforts trying to be there and speak in the community and make them understand that, you know, there is a choice and the Democrat policies are killing the American dream for the Hispanic worker. They, the shutdowns shut down Hispanic small businesses at yeah. disproportionate rates. The schools being shut down really hurt, especially single moms that are trying to struggle and, and juggle work and Zoom schooling. They, they were treated 
to a lot of the anti-American rhetoric and critical race theory on these Zooms. And they said, you know, what is going on right. here? They actually love our valley. They, they love Las Vegas. They know if you work hard, you can get ahead. And their, their children are being treated to this poisonous rhetoric that somehow they've got no shot and the system's rigged against them. And they're rejecting it in droves. Right. And I think the numbers are showing that. Well, Adam Laxalt, it's a race that we're watching very closely. And we, of course, invite your opponent to come on if she would like to as well. Thank you. AdamLaxalt.com. Thank you. <laughs>